Hi, I'm Lisa Bardot, and today's tutorial is all about drawing hair. This video is a part of my People Skills series, a month-long sequence of tutorials and assignments that will get you familiar with the basics of drawing humans and help you develop your own people drawing style. If this is your first People Skills video, I recommend starting with the introduction and working your way through the tutorial sequentially. We'll be using the iPad app Procreate to do the tutorials, but you are more than welcome to join in with a paper and pencil or whatever medium you feel comfortable using. If you're new to Procreate, I highly recommend watching my intro to Procreate tutorial. Let's get started. We've been learning how to draw stylized faces and we're topping off the week by learning how to draw hair. To stylize something means to draw it in a way that is not real. But to do that, we need to understand the way it looks in real life. I'm not gonna lie, drawing hair is hard. As you're learning how to draw hair, use references like crazy. Observe a lot of hairstyles. Hair is fickle, so references are a must. To help you out in the process of drawing hair, I've created these basic elements. First is the overall shape of the hair. Then the highlights and the shadows. Next are lines that communicate texture and direction. And then there are final details like stray hairs. Seems pretty simple, right? Well, depending on the type of hair and style, it actually is. Let's walk through it, first with the sketch and then by doing a full color illustration. You ready for this? Start with a light sketch to define the head shape. Sketch the head and features, including placement of the ears, and be sure to add a neck. Next, define the hairline. I'd suggest observing yourself. Get a mirror or take out your phone for a selfie. Pull back your... <coughs> Pull back your hair to see the hairline. Observe that the top of the hairline is a fairly straight line with a little curve to it. Then it goes down a bit and then back a bit more before finally going behind the ear. All hairlines are different, but this is the general idea. If the style will have a part, define that on your sketch as well. Okay, let's create a new layer and start sketching the hairstyle. First, we'll draw the overall shape of the hair. The most important thing to understand about hair is that it has volume. You need to draw the top edge of the hair up and away from the head, or else your character will have sad flat hair. Use lines to define the front hair from the hair that is behind the neck. Also be sure to define the hair that's coming from the hairline and down over the face. The next step is to add some directional lines. If there's a part in the hair, I always like to begin there. Hair originates from the head, shocker, I know, so it's important to keep that in mind when you're adding these lines. Not all of these lines might end up in your final drawing, but they help us to understand what the hair is doing. Don't forget the hair behind the neck and at the hairline. I don't like to define the hairline with a solid line. Instead, I use lots of little lines. Now let's start to think about shadows and highlights. As you're learning, use lots of reference photos to familiarize yourself with the way light hits hair. But here are some general guidelines. Any areas of the hair that are pointing up should have a highlight, and any areas that point down would have a shadow. So if the light is coming from above, the areas that face the light are here, 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 and here. The areas that point toward the ground are here and here. The hair in the part is usually a little bit darker, and don't forget about the hair behind the neck, which is completely in shadow. The same goes for the hair at the hairline because it is underneath this hair. Next, I like to add a few stray hairs. This gives the hair a more realistic feel since hair is almost never perfectly smooth like this. Stray hairs will give your hair drawing more character. So there's the final sketch. Now let's color it in. Working in color makes it much easier to see all these steps. Reduce the opacity of your sketch. Create a new layer right below the sketch. I'm using brushes from my Texturific liners to do this part. Outline and fill in the shape of the head and ears. I'm using the Primo ink liner for this. 
Create a new layer under the face layer and draw the neck. I'll turn on alpha lock and add a simple shadow to show separation between the head and neck. I'm using a color that is a bit darker and a bit more saturated than the skin color. Add a new layer above those two to add the facial features. Okay, we're ready to work on the hair. Add another layer above all of those. The color I'm using here will be the half tone or the middle value of the hair. Draw in the overall shape of the hair, but do not include the hair behind the neck. We'll put that on a layer behind all the other layers. Use a darker shade to color that in. Make another layer between the hair and face layers to color this area here at the hairline. Now let's add in our highlights and shadows. Go to the main hair layer and turn on alpha lock. I'm gonna use my grungy liner brush to add all the line details. It's a really nice textured liner. Let's start with the highlights. Select the main hair color, the half tone, and choose a color that is lighter. I like to do this with a bunch of little lines. If you want, you can gradually add lighter lines to make the hair look really shiny. Then select that main hair color again and choose a darker color. Do the same on the shadows. Now create a new layer to add some direction and texture lines. Use an even darker color for these lines. These lines communicate the way the hair is falling and also communicate the texture of the hair. In this case, straight hair that curls up a little at the bottom. Don't forget to add some lines to the hair behind the neck and at the hairline as well. Now let's add some stray hairs for that finishing touch. On a layer underneath the main hair layer, draw some lines that pop out and reconnect to the main hair. Have fun with this part, but don't overdo it, unless you want your character to have really messy looking hair. There's one last detail, and that is to add some shading to the face depicting the cast shadow from the hair itself. All done. Whether the hair you're drawing is straight, wavy, curly, or coily, these techniques are the same. Define the shape, look for the highlights and shadows, add lines for texture and direction, and add some loose hairs for detail. I hope you're excited to try drawing some hairstyles. Now it's time for your homework. Find a photo of a hairstyle you'd like to attempt. Remember, simpler is better. Follow the steps in this tutorial to depict that hairstyle in a simple way. Try to do several sketches of different hairstyles and textures. There's no tutorial tomorrow, so on that day, practice everything you've learned. Draw a bunch of faces mixing and matching the different eyes, ears, noses, and mouths you've drawn over this week. Pick your favorite combination of features and do a full color illustration, complete with hair. You can do this. Drawing people is no easy feat and no one started out being able to do it perfectly. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Read more about this assignment on the lesson page for this tutorial including a Pinterest board I made filled with inspiration and additional resources. You can find that page along with an organized list of all the lessons at bardobrush.com people. I've put a link in the description. I hope you'll join me next time where we'll be exploring the world of emotions and expressions. Be sure to subscribe and tap the little bell icon so you don't miss it. I made people skills as a part of my Making Art Every Day project a series of drawing prompts, tutorials, and motivation to help you overcome creative fears and establish a daily art making practice. Learn more about it at bardobrush.com slash join M-A-E. If you'd like to purchase the brushes used in this tutorial, you can find them and many others at bardobrush.com. If you're posting your work to Instagram, I would love to see it. Use the hashtag bardobrush. Thanks and happy art making. If you like this video, please subscribe for more awesome tutorials and check out one of my other videos. Have a great day.